Hey Zon, how's it going? It's going well, it's going well, man. How are you doing? I'm good, I'm good. So first of all, thank you so much for joining us here. Obviously, you worked at Amazon not one time, but twice, and now you're returning as a full-time employee. So I kind of just wanted to get a few questions out there for my YouTube family about your experiences, as well as really how to make the most of a successful internship. So I guess, how about we start out with you introduce yourself a little bit and your background. I'm Zon. I just graduated from Georgia Tech uh, with a computer science degree. Like you said, I've been interning at Amazon these last couple of years, both summers, and I'll be going there full time starting next month. And then I spend most of my time in college, honestly, like I think doing what most people do is like preparing for internships, grinding for internships. And I've picked up a few tips along the way that should hopefully should help some people out. Going back to your internships, uh, if you could talk a little bit about your experiences, the highlights of it, the team you worked at. Sure. My first internship with Amazon, I've been working with Amazon Music, uh, I was on the music voice search team. And that one was in person. So that was based out of San Francisco working in financial district downtown a beautiful area honestly the highlight was just being in san francisco i was living up in berkeley like on on uc berkeley campus getting like a whole brand new experience outside of just like the general college georgia tech experience um meeting new people eating great food seeing the different sites and stuff around that was definitely i think the highlight the best code that i write is when staring outside of like a high-rise window and like looking over the city that was great for me personally so that was the in-person one then the remote this past summer i was working on the music search machine learning team and that one was more relearning how to work essentially like a lot of the skills that you pick up in an in-person internship who to reach out to for help how to reach out to them you feel like kind of relearn that figure out well in a remote environment how then how then do i reach out for help when i need it how do i maximize your own resources figuring out like time zone was another thing because i was on the east coast obviously my office was on the west coast so then learning you know how best to like set up schedules and give yourself like a regimen and giving yourself like a routine really kept myself on track and then gave me the best like you know work performance that led me to getting that return offer. How did you really go about getting that return offer and ensuring the most success? Do you have like set like steps like I do this, this, this? I think the biggest thing for me was getting continuous feedback along the way. From this jump, I didn't keeping a secret that I was trying to get a return offer from week one saying like, this is like the end goal. This is what I'm, I'm trying to be successful with. You don't like have like check and set up with your man manager and mentor, set that up yourself, right? You just take that proactive effort, reach out, be like, hey, and if, if they don't have time weekly, then bi-weekly or whatever is, you know, just asking like, hey, what are the things that I'm doing well? What things, that, what do I continue? What are the things that maybe I should focus on a little bit more, improve on, develop on? And not just saving it at the end being like, oh, you find out that maybe your communication like over email isn't as, people aren't getting as much information out of your emails as they might, as they like otherwise might've been. You wanna figure that out early. Cause like obviously as an internship, you're there to learn. You're, you're very new to the whole thing. And they expect that, right? So they're there to help you out as well. And making use of those resources, making use of the people around you. Um, is definitely the biggest thing, I think. The return offer is just kind of like one point of the internship, making the most of an internship. Do you have any strategies and tips for the audience? I think the biggest thing, honestly, is, is just be curious. Always be asking questions. If there's a project that seems interesting to you that one of your teammates might be working on, set up a meeting with them about it, like a, a quick coffee chat or something. Anyone that you interact with, like your teammates, your manager, team members that are around you, people from different teams that you interact with regularly, just set up quick meetings and get to know their background, get to know what what they're working on and then that'll help you because maybe like the first thing you work on might not be what you want to be working on always then figuring out seeing what other people are doing figuring out what interests you from that and learning as much as you can will help you get set up for like next time I would like I want to be working on this that way you know maybe I'm not a front end guy maybe I'm more of a back end designer maybe I prefer doing UX UI stuff and then you, you really just figure that out by seeing what other people are up to moving on from that why did you really decide to accept your return offer why Amazon you felt was the right place for you for me, the biggest factor in that decision was the culture fit. And people say a lot of things about companies as a whole, right? Say like Amazon as a general is one way, or they say like if you work at Google or Facebook or any of these other big fan companies, right? There's a certain culture associated with it. But when you get really into it, it's broken down team by team. How one team is and how they act and their, their work-life balance and their schedule, it ranges wildly. I found that the team I was with, specifically in like the music search org, that I really enjoyed the people I was working with. I really liked the balance I had between work and having time for other things outside of work and I just felt that the projects were also very interesting to me a search is used by every customer right that's tens of millions of people worldwide as an intern right the projects I was doing impacting users you know globally I really enjoyed that I really enjoyed being able to see like having actual like, users use what I've been working on the work was interesting to me the culture was interesting to me I really enjoyed everybody I was working with and I think all that combined led me to accepting the offer for a full-time position 
Could you talk a little bit about the projects that you worked on? On the voice search team, my first project was more of like an experiment. That taught me that you don't necessarily need everything to be a success for your work to be um, impactful. What I mean is like my first project was an experiment that we were changing something around with, with how we were doing search on the back end. Analyzed a search request from a user. The developers had uh, an idea that might make things better, but they weren't certain if this was actually a useful avenue to go down. And then they didn't want to spend like three months worth of man hours building out this project that might not even pan out. So that was my project as an intern that I was given to like, hey, actually we have this idea now, Im uh, figure out how to implement it, test it out, see how it works. I, you know, spent my internship figuring that out, tested it out. And my results were that actually this, this makes our search results worse. And that was actually useful information again. Right. Then the team knew like, hey, this this kind of analysis, this approach isn't exactly what we're looking for. And that's super useful information. Let's say you have like a branching pathways of possibilities, right? We can go down this path and we can dive, dive fully deep, right? Using the leadership principles that are also important. Um, dive deep down this path, knowing that that's not going to pan out. That was very useful information that provided a lot of value to the team from my work. And that led to me getting that return offer. Like a bonus question. So you do talk quite a bit about how you enjoyed your experiences living on the West Coast, living in Bay Area. What do you find the most exciting part about being in that environment was? Being surrounded by technology, right? Living in San Francisco, or if you're, you know, Silicon Valley in the South Bay or something, that, that area, right? You're surrounded by this culture of like technology, these big tech companies, these smaller, these smaller startups and stuff that are all like getting off the ground. Everyone's so passionate about what they're working on. Everyone's so, you know, into the culture of what's going on. I would be on the train and you just hear people discussing the, you know, the future of crypto or you hear, let's say you're on a phone call. I, I literally had this, saw this happen where some guy was like on a phone talking about some framework. He got some like detail wrong about whoever he's talking to. And then the person next to him on the train just like corrected him because everyone's a software engineer, right? Um, that was the coolest thing for me, right? Just like striking up random conversations. I saw someone wearing a Lyft backpack, start talking, asking them, and it turns out they're a Lyft engineer. Just seeing what people are up to and learning what people are up to was the coolest thing for me because you don't get that uh, in many other places. So kind of just wrapping things up here a little bit, do you have any general advice for my audience here with regards to not only making the most out of an internship and being successful in terms of that, but also a general success career-wise? If I were to go back and tell myself, uh, you know, give myself any advice would be just be proactive everything you do. Whether that's like a, something as small as like sending an email, right? If you're stuck on any part of your project that you're working on in your internship, try and find solutions on your own. But if that doesn't work, don't waste all your time trying to solve a problem that you're not going to be able to solve on your own, right? Figure out who's the contact to reach out to. If you're working on any specific, like let's say it's a tool that's owned by another developer, right? Stay in communication with them and be, be proactive about learning what's going on. Set up a meeting, for example, to like a, like a knowledge transfer kind of thing. Stay ahead of the game. And like if you're ever falling behind, reach out to other people around you. Reach out to your mentor, your manager try and like get some figure out a plan to keep going with your project thank you so much for all your responses they were definitely very valuable not only to me listening right here but also to the whole audience out here and yeah thank you so much yeah thanks for having